Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to see that how we can convert a text to a speech with the help of the Python programming language. So converting the text to a speech with the help of the Python programming language in that basically we'll be using our library today that is PYDSX3. Okay, that is PyDDSX3. This is the library that I'll be using out throughout this project to convert out the text into the speech. Okay. So what I would just do, I would just go on to the terminal here and yes, I would start writing out the command for installing out that. So that is pip. I would just write here pip install and my library is pytsx3. This is the library which I just want to install out and I would just hit enter. Fine. What it will actually do, it will actually install that for me. So for me, I have already installed that. So it is showing requirement already satisfied. But if you haven't done that thing till now, so you can just install that onto your IDEs, right? And the IDE which I'm using here is the PyCharm ID. Okay, great. Um, I would just put out a command and even just write out the command here. So if you have just missed out the command, you can just copy it from this particular thing. Right, so this is the library. So this is the uh, command which you'll be using out for installing this PyWT SX3 library. Fine, so as soon as I have installed out this library, my next procedure and my next task is to import out this particular library. So I will just write your import and that is PyWT is, uh, okay, that is 6.3. Right here, this particular library, I'll be installing this throughout, uh, install, so using it and importing it out while, uh, okay. Um, now what I would just do here is that, I'll be taking out a variable, okay, and into that variable, what I'll be doing is I'll be initializing out this pytsx3 library, okay, I'll be just initially initializing that particular library. So there are basically some libraries in Python which we need to initialize before using them throughout our project, okay, throughout our program, we just in use to initialize that library. So this pytsx3 is one of them, okay, so what I would just do here is that I would be just writing here, um, underscore is speech okay let's say this is my variable which i had made out okay i would just write put equal to and i would just initialize that is pytsx3 dot and i would just write here init that is basically the initialization of my pytsx3 library right now what i would just do next here is that i would be making out a variable in that i'll be taking out the input from the user that okay uh what is the like what is the sentence which you just want to convert into a speech Okay, so I could just simply write here, um, uh, let's say answer is equal to answer is the variable which I'm just taking out here, right? So answer is equal to, I could just write here input. Now, why I have simply written input, why I haven't mentioned any of the data type before input, because in Python, it is a rule that if we are not mentioning any of the data types actually, so it automatically takes that into the a string format right and even this is the same thing which i as well want i just want that whatever i'm just writing that should be in the string format so in that case i haven't mentioned out any of the data types here right so input and here i would be just asking that what you want to uh what you want to convert to speech let's say this is the sentence which i had just put out right it depends on you whatever you just want to put out you can go ahead with that particular thing Okay, now the variable in which I have initialized out my library, sorry, uh, my library that I'll be using out here, that is text underscore speech. I would put out a dot and use here a function which is save. Save will basically help us, to, uh, it will basically help us to convert whatever the written text we are going to write out. It will basically help to uh, convey that uh, throughout the throughout the voice. Okay, the save is a function which will help you to do this particular thing. And inside the, inside the bracket, I'll be writing out the variable in which I would be storing that what sentence I want to convert into a speech. Right, so I would just write here next. After that, I would be simply writing here text underscore speech dot and I'd be using here run and wait. So this run and wait is basically my function which I'll be using out here and why I'd be using out because whenever as soon as the sentence which I had written out as soon as that has been converted into the speech. So basically, and just exit out my program from that particular thing. So as soon as I write out the sentence, so just run out that program and basically uh, you, you could just say out that sentence and after that exit out my program. So this is how I could just write out a simple program. I just written out a very much simple program here so that it is not at all easy, difficult for you to understand that how you can convert out a text to a speech. Now let me just run it here. 
um okay let me zoom in as well fine so it is saying that what you want to convert to speech i would just write that um okay just one second sorry i would just write that this is a tutorial this is a tutorial uh, for converting text uh, for converting uh, that is text to speech in a very in a very simple way okay and i would just hit enter this is a tutorial for converting text to speech is a very simple way see just you heard that right it basically said that this is a tutorial for converting text to speech in a very simple way right you just heard that thing let me just run it out once again here let me click on run and basically let me just write out here so uh okay i would just write here once again that uh converting converting text okay that is converting text to speech project okay now just again hit enter now just listen it once again converting text to speech project right so you just heard that that basically said that converting text to a speech project right so this is a easy way where you can just write out this project make out this program and convert any of your text into the speeches right now uh, there are some one more method as well which is basically you can just put out any of the text files here and whatever is written into that text file it will actually read out that same thing for you so that would uh, that is actually a little bit of same as the one which we had already done in the previous projects that was a pdf one only a little bit of difference is there right so i'm just not telling that particular thing here because this is very simple and a very easy way to do out this particular thing right so this is all for this video children thank you and take care